Hello. Hello. Is it on? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what's Should up, everybody? <laughs> We're live. And Yin's just setting up the camera now. And she's coming around. Hello. Can you guys hear us? Sure. <laughs> yeah, I think I think we're on. Should be. <laughs> we are so new at this. We're sorry. It's our second time only ever doing it, and we're using our um, mobile phone this time to hope we have slightly clearer quality. Yes, Tashi Lim says. Thank you, Tashi Lim. Thanks for that. You can hear <laughs> us. And hello and welcome, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. Where we got here? Let's have a look. Nick and Helmi, Puri and Sue, hi guys. Oh, Rochelle, Daryl, what's hey. up? Rochelle, what's up? Stuart, Astia. Lifetime Dave. travel mates. Happy oh, Kong. Oh. <laughs> That's so cool. Hey guys, Sam and Diana. Daryl. Did I say Daryl already? I said Daryl already. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. Hello, all you guys. Oh, it's going quite quick. I don't know if we're going to be able to keep up with this. My goodness, Romy, hey. Shayna and Stuart. George. What's up, Stuart? Catherine. Like oh, this Maria. Marie. Marie. Yay. Okay. Thank you so much, everyone. Yo, Nicholas Coop. Nick, hi. Yo, what's up? Auntie, happy birthday. We know it's your birthday today. Yeah, so if you're watching, happy birthday. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Oh, my goodness. I'm getting <laughs> overwhelmed <laughs> by all the messages. Where is everyone tuning in from? I know we got a lot of Kiwis, right? And Rami, you over there in Singapore, Puri and Sue in Malaysia. They can help me they in help Australia. Me. <laughs> Gosh. Oh, Canada. Wow. Maryland. <laughs> Jandron. Hey. Jandron's an amazing artist. She did a, a little drawing of me last time over on Instagram. It's so cool. I still remember it. <laughs> Yo, what's up, George? We got some snacks here. So in case yeah. you want to watch some like food reactions that will be on its way at some point in the video. <laughs> yes, we have a ton of snacks that our friend Kersha gave me for my birthday, which was super nice. She left it on our doorstep because we are in lockdown here in um, Auckland. Yeah, we've had about five weeks of level four and we've just yeah. come out of level four and we're currently in it's level three. three. And going on to our second third week now second week there's meant to be a level decision change tomorrow so we'll see how that goes well for anyone who is not from new zealand and uh tuning in we have four alert levels here and four is the most strict which means pretty much everything is closed except for bare essential services and then level three how we remember it is always level four plus kfc yeah <laughs> so well we're just that um hospitals can open so restaurants are allowed to do deliveries and click and collect and that sort of thing and so of course takeaways <laughs> so, yeah we've been making full use of that we've ordered a lot of takeaways already so yeah. far even for my birthday I had malaysian if any of you guys follow our um instagram you'd see i was posting a couple of those things and peter's little hand drawing for me <laughs> Which I thought was so cute. What else have we had for takeaways? Uh, we had we had dinner one night and uh, we had a massive craving for pizza. So we ordered yes. Sal's pizza, the entire one, which is like... 18 inches. It was a huge <laughs> pizza. Oh my goodness. And so we managed to eat five... Oh, I ate five slices and you ate one, one slice. <laughs> and I had the mozzarella sticks and they were really good. So yeah, that was about like almost 10 o'clock at night that we <laughs> ate that. The cheese craving was real. What do you guys crave when you're um, stuck in lockdowns and you can't? order takeaways and that sort of thing but well, we need to read some messages and those are going to fall behind yeah let's just jump back up okay 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 i'm gonna you i'm gonna go. open a snack yeah wait, hold up some stuff and then maybe okay we'll okay you guys can decide which snack we should open up first we got <laughs> some sour cream like these chips have been so good during lockdown i've gone through a couple of packs of these already and what if it's chocolate that's my that's my daily <laughs> this one, thank you again kush if you're watching <laughs> this is yen's favorite rocks Russ, yeah they used to be known as afghan biscuits but they've rebranded they're delicious chocolate you're okay <laughs> we got some hershey's kisses <laughs> yen yens that's my favorite when we're in vietnam i eat like almost one a day <laughs> but I love them even beforehand. And then some uh, fabulous sticks. A lot of those came from Korea. <laughs> so it's amazing. But I thought this one was really cute. I don't know. Can you guys see it? It's a uh, what do you call Whitaker's tweet. Yeah, I think I think I might open that first day. I'm really excited. For that so one. it's the white chocolate, but it also has um, New Zealand 
birds and the tuatara apparently on them. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Okay, catch up with some messages. Oh, Nick and Helmi said he wishes he had Peter's nice haircut. Seriously thinking of auditioning with Pantene ad now. <laughs> Yen's been ago. helping me during lockdown with haircuts. So. It's gotten a bit long again though, hey? Yeah. <laughs> Has anyone else been doing a lockdown haircuts? <laughs> okay. I have got Kakapo? Kakapo, cute. Yeah, they got Kakapo. Yeah, Kakapo. It even has the word on it. Let me try and hold it closer. Hold it close for you guys to see. <laughs> oh, I thought it was white chocolate, some milk chocolate. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if you can see that. It looks kind of blurry. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, I'll keep reading messages. Oh. Marilyn, Helen. Hey from BC, Canada. Wow, Canada. Hi, Marilyn. Marie. This <laughs> live just... <laughs> Leroy. East Auckland. Represent. <laughs> yeah, these are delicious. They got little crackling bits of them. Oh, nice. Hmm. Snowport. Shayna. From Hamilton, New Plymouth. Stuart. Hey, Stuart Brady. So awesome. You guys could all tune in. Yeah, Gendron, you're in the Philippines. Oh man, I do miss Filipino food. Maybe we need to find some Filipino food takeaway. Mm. So cool, everyone from around the world. Lifetime travel mates still in India, Goa. Where's Lynn we... from? Huh? Where? Japan. Oh, hey, Lynn. We have a lot of our YouTube creative friends here. So you guys, um, if you're seeing them in the chat messages, you can also check check out their channels. So Nick and Helmi are in Sydney, Puri and Sue are in Malaysia and it's all like food and travel so very similar to us and couples yeah. too. Same with Lifetime Travel Mates and Lynn's over in Japan and yeah just check these guys out. Our awesome friends and channels and things. So big shout out to you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, I'm so sorry if I'm gonna miss messages because I'm just trying to keep up with them all. We got a message from Raph Nicholson. Have you guys had takeaways yet? Yes, we've had takeaways a couple of times yeah. now, now that we're in level three. It's been real good. We started off with eating Chomna, which is at the end of my like, childhood favorite place to eat. Uh, we've been eating there since, um, I think like maybe first year uni or something like that, when it used to be in the old uh, Decker building on Queen Street. Oh my goodness. Are you, are you okay? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why, but the live chat always switches from top chat to uh, from live chat to top chat. So I miss like tons of messages that go through. <laughs> so you keep chatting, I'll, I'll keep going through. Messages. Oh, I see some messages about pizza, which is always good. I okay, love pizza. So, I must have heard something. Hello. Well, yeah, we've also Melbourne had um, Treasure Kitchen for Yen's birthday, which was just um, two Malaysian days ago, food. which was Malaysian food. That was real good too. Uh, it's a new, newish kind of place, eh? Hey? I think so. I'm before. not sure how long it's been open, but that was really young. I, I thought it wouldn't survive the um, delivery time because it's about 20 minutes from Orohuru to here. Yeah, we ordered a lot of deep fried stuff. We did. I want to. <laughs> <laughs> it was really good. I know it was yum, so I'm looking forward to eating that in, um, in level two and we can actually dine into restaurants and that sort of thing again. Yeah, I'm going to crack open some chips now, eh? <laughs> Um, who else have we got? Um, oh, we have a question here. Can't, I can't read your Chinese name, I'm sorry, but they ask, have you been vaccinated for two doses? Yes, we have. We managed to get our second dose a couple of weeks ago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Peter enjoying that. Uh, we have the Pfizer vaccine here in New Zealand, and that was literally pretty much the only times that we've been out of the house for yeah. during this lockdown so just to go get our vaccine jabs and i think there's only been one time where you had to help my mom go pick up her medication yeah. as well as um some chinese groceries that she was craving because <laughs> they didn't deliver that uh because it's um frozen goods and that sort of thing so i went to go click and collect yeah we did get some um well i got some side effects you got it on uh, the yeah. first jab i did on the first jab and then peter had it on the second so we kind of like swapped <laughs> mm. we both had the sore arm and then we had chills uh, later in the day so like when we were going to sleep around that time and we we're just really lethargic and um 
fatigued, had a bit of headache, that sort of thing. Yeah, I, uh, mine started yeah. with a headache. Yeah, so on my second jab, I had pretty much nothing, but Peter had all that and he slept for a long time. <laughs> yeah, I, like even the few days afterwards, I was quite tired most of the days, and so I'd sleep longer than I would normally. Oh, this is but, great. Um, um, I'm so sorry if I'm not pronouncing your name right. M. Kam Mu said, wow, the camera quality is awesome. Glad to hear that. Yes. <laughs> we decided to use Peter's phone for this one because, um, you know, laptop qualities aren't that clear. So glad to hear that that's good. Uh, Fiji, JC Printworks is Yan Yan. It's blurry, but that's, that's probably to do with the Wi-Fi connection. So you can change it on your... Um, what do you call your settings? So change it to the highest quality, which I think is 720. Yeah, and it gets a little stream. bit better. Yeah, so it should get better if you're doing it that way. Hopefully it's okay. Um, yen Yen. Yes, Rami. I love Yen Yens. This one's the white chocolate one. Clever Crafts chips. Yes. <laughs> Stuart Brady said, just open everything. <laughs> That's a good idea. I think so too. <laughs> We'll slowly make our way through all the snacks yeah. as, uh, as the life goes on. <laughs> Hubert, hey, what's up? Oh, Hubert. Yeah, what's hey, up, guys? man? I'm here now with you. And there's Chandy. Hey, what's up, Chandy? So cool to see you guys all on. Thank you for tuning in. Is there anyone that's on a horrendous time zone? We are so sorry. We tried to pick one that was as uh, broadly covering as we could, but we know that it's not good for Europe, so we don't get to see some of our really big supporters from there but hopefully they'll be able to watch the replay when we eventually yeah. post this <laughs> whenever that might be so hello to you guys too oh these aren't doritos bro they're um heartland sour cream and chives they also come with the, the heartland salt and vinegar heartland chicken flavor which we've also got here i've already finished all the yeah salt and vinegar ones. On the one the other yeah. day. kinder said you need to try the Snacker Changi sour cream chips. Whoa, what is that? Okay, I gotta remember that one. Is, Snacker Changi. Is that a New Zealand? I don't know. I don't know why it makes me think of Singapore. Maybe because yeah, Changi, Changi, but... Changi Airport. <laughs> Changi Airport. Layla, open anything made in New Zealand. That's that's a lot of these stuff. So Heartland is a New Zealand brand. Yeah, these are Whitaker's chocolates. Are Whitaker's New Zealand. New Zealand too. Ruffs are New Zealand? I don't Are know they... if Ruffs are... I think Griffiths yeah, are yeah. Australian. Oh, are they? I don't know. I don't know either. I can biscuits, I'm pretty sure, are yeah. New Zealand. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm going <laughs> to move on to one of these uh, fabulous raspberry twists now. Does anyone else have snacks <laughs> while you're watching us? <laughs> I'm so curious. Um, I'm just going to keep running through Kamal. Kamal Mia, love from the UK, aka South Yorkshire. 4 a.m. Oh my goodness. Oh, what an effort. What? <laughs> that is amazing. Thank you for tuning in so late, so early. <laughs> Yo, these are smaller than they used to be. Yeah, ah, you know what I noticed? I don't know if anyone else loves these. I, I used to love being able to peel them, but ever since they went to this new manufacturer, was it um is it RJ's or something now? I can't remember. Yeah, RJ's. Yeah, RJ's now. They've like cheated out on being able to peel the individuals yeah, they're, they're like one entire log now and they're much shorter they used I have to hold it close i'm sure they used to be like this much longer <laughs> it's okay yeah they're still young they used to be yeah individual strips but now it's like one strip with fake lines <laughs> in between mm. it hubert says he's eating doritos lh on haircuts we are on our second clipper <laughs> <laughs> We've actually ordered a, what do you call, clipper haircut set Yeah. From AliExpress. We've been kind of obsessed with, with AliExpress lately. Yeah, because it's so handy shopping. getting all kinds of different goods from there. Yeah, I had no idea that it's it's so cheap. And I always used to think that just shipping would take ages. This is not sponsored, by the way, of course not. <laughs> I don't even know if they do that. But um, yeah, we found out from our friends who really loves AliExpress. And we started trying it out. And yeah, the shipping's actually not that long. It's what quite the? quick. What? Did someone just... Oh my goodness. Whoa! Andrew. Welcome to Andrew94. That is incredible. That's crazy. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. That is unbelievably generous. So we just... We got distracted because it pops up on our screen. 
Hi Peter and Yen from Sydney, Australia. Lovely makes food look and taste so delicious as Peter does. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's so nice of you, man. That really appreciate it. Unbelievably generous. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you guys really love Peter's eating, I noticed in comments. <laughs> which is funny. And someone even asked, I think, like, is he like that in real life? I was like, yeah, if he really likes the food, this is how, how he eats. Yeah. Um... <laughs> I like, uh, I feel like food tastes better when you're more expressive with um, how you feel about the food. So even like when oh, gosh, no, no. we're just eating um, ourselves, I'll, I'll do the facials and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Maz K, thank you so much. Thank oh, you, Maz. You guys are incredibly generous. Thank you. This is just so cool. Wow. And we really appreciate it because when we're making videos and all this kind of stuff, it's, it's, not only you know time and effort and commitment intensive it does actually cost a lot <laughs> and we pay everything out of our own pockets we don't we generally and we've never taken on sponsorships yeah we've never yeah. done a sponsored video yeah we've been approached quite a few times by lots of places but you know for us it's just more about being able to how do you say share our experiences and not feel obliged to say anything um that we might not want to just because it's the sponsorship yeah. you know that kind of thing and no hate to anyone that does sponsorships because it is tough and it is expensive to to do youtube and so yeah total respect to everyone that does but for us personally we haven't taken any on and so yeah any of these kind of donations are just incredibly appreciated because it goes right back into paying for our activities and making more videos and making more videos <laughs> so thank you thank you all Okay, I'm going to try try hunt back and catch up with messages so I don't miss as many as possible. Um, I saw a hello from Thu, so what's up Thu from Thu, Vietnam? Vietnam, <laughs> hello. Your English has gotten incredibly so much better, Thu. We're so proud of you. Well done. Yeah. Thu has, has um, been a great supporter of Alice from very early days and she's learning English and all that kind of stuff. So it's really cool when we get to see her messaging and messages get longer and all that too. <laughs> <laughs> Have you caught up? Yeah, so someone asked me, can I speak Chinese? Amy Chen. Amy Chen, yes. I can speak some Chinese, some Mandarin. <laughs> and um, Yen can speak... Which means I can also speak a little. Um, and Peter initially said uh, yeah. he can speak but... A little bit, a little. but it sucks. <laughs> Our level is, is horrendous. It's pretty um basic level. Yeah, well, I came to New Zealand when I was three years old and Yen came to New Zealand when she was four years old. Yeah. And so we pretty much have the level of uh, Mandarin of a three, three and four, four year, year old. <laughs> yeah. Well, my sister and I did go to um, Chinese Mandarin school for a little while here in New Zealand. And I, so I can, I know how to read a bit and write a bit and that sort of thing too, but... I'm definitely not fluent enough in speaking and my understanding like listening is better than my speaking probably because i don't practice it enough but yeah yeah <laughs> my mum shout out to mum if she's uh watching used to try and teach me mandarin like when i was a little kid <laughs> but i was such a stubborn learner you know so she would break um i don't know how many wooden spoons on my head whacking me trying to get me to <laughs> learn like all these um words Tiger mum yeah. way. <laughs> <laughs> didn't, didn't, just never sunk down really <laughs> I haven't had a Hershey's kiss, kiss in a long time. So oh, this must be Kersha, K-N. You're welcome, Yen. Enjoy the treats. Happy birthday again. Thank you, Kersh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Kersh. I'm enjoying them more than you <laughs> at the moment. Um, I'm going to seriously what you guys going to do that to us with chocolate. Love. Tony, love your travel vlog. Stay safe. Sorry, want to be out of level 3 for a while. Yeah, that's so true. Oh, I haven't had a Hershey's Kush in so long. Hello from Auckland. Peter, you're putting a lot of calories in your How's the workout regime? <laughs> yes, I have been putting calories in me every day. I start the day with um, chocolate most days. So I'll eat like a couple of rows of Whitaker's chocolate. This is no joke. This is like my, my daily <laughs> lockdown routine. Oh my goodness. And then after dinner, <laughs> Peter's dessert is usually another couple of rows of <laughs> chocolate. <laughs> If there's some like mooncake around because it was mooncake festival yeah. i have some mooncake too but yeah we we both work out peter a lot more than me he works out basically daily i try to do it at least a couple of times a week but yeah <laughs> lots of i only work out 
so that I can continue this crazy amount of eating that I'm doing. True, true. Yeah. <laughs> Layla. Layla, wow, you're famous. Yeah, now. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Kong. Myra is eating jelly, watching Pete snacking. That's so cute. <laughs> Happy Kong, our friends Sam and Diana, and they have um, two girls now, just had a newborn, and Myra's their elder daughter, who's yeah. still very little, and she's so cute. So yeah. hello, oh, Myra, hey, Myra. if you're watching, <laughs> the newborn unfortunately won't understand us, but hello, Hannah. <laughs> <laughs> hi, hi, Clara Class. Ali, hey, Ali. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, Marilyn Channel, the Peter and Yen Channel is my go-to blog on YouTube if I'm planning a travel in New Zealand. Thank oh, that's you, so Marilyn. nice. Thank you so much. <laughs> Hope you've managed to pick up some um, tips and places that you've enjoyed to go see. Yeah, oh, we, we will give it a bit of an update, like for our future videos, since we were just relying on our previous videos from the South Island yeah. trip, our future ones might have to be more like lockdown orientated. Sorry, guys. Yeah, we've only made one because it's just, <laughs> <laughs> we're not very good at thinking of ideas for stuff. Yeah, we figured we'd take a bit of a, um, a break, a as, break well. as well, so yeah. we for the last maybe like five or six weeks, we've just been chilling out, really. Yeah, so when we came out of lockdown, we, uh, sorry, not out of lockdown, uh, finished our South Island trip, we came back to Auckland, and then lockdown happened about a week after. So we were really furiously trying to edit the videos to make sure it could all come out in time, and then we could go on more trips, and then suddenly lockdown, we're like, oh, we've got a lot of time now, yeah. <laughs> probably, so we're slowly <laughs> editing through those. But yeah, uh, for the future, we'll just have to see. We'll see if we come down to level two soon. Um, well, thanks, Perrine Sue, reminding people to show some love by liking the video. <laughs> thanks. You guys are so awesome. Thank you. We are a big YouTube fan. Yes, we are, Nick and Helmy. <clears throat> Hi, guys. Greeting from Singapore from Ferdals Ma Malik. Hello. What's up? <laughs> Yeah, the better pizza. Amy Chen, I know pizza does. Not sure about Yen. Oh, that must be What's about that? our Chinese. Ah. Yeah. Um, Nicholas Penny, world famous in New Zealand. <laughs> oh, no. Yum Ta for Happy Kong. Yum, I love that brand of chips. Did you get moody with the vaccine? <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, that... You just got really, really sleepy. Like, you slept for about 16 hours straight. The yeah, after, that was, I, I was crazy. Yeah. How about you guys? Um, I never had so much sleep. Yeah, did anyone else get that? Like, oh, I know Nick and Nick did, right? Nick got from yeah. Nick, got Nick, Nick, Nick from Nick and Hami did yeah. get uh, pretty sleepy and a little bit um, feverish as well. Yeah, and then all us wives and girlfriend partners, you know, we're like teasing that our guys are weaker than the. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Salia, hi from Brisbane. Thanks for your videos that help with my homesickness. Any tips on buying property in New Zealand? Well, that's, that's a, buying property. That's a big one. Yeah, that's that's probably a big one. That might be a, like a reserve for a video rather than yeah. a live. Yeah, thanks, thanks for that. Idea. <laughs> um, I've been hoping to get a tuatara in one of these prints, but I keep, I keep getting kakapos. Okay, well they're pretty cute too. <laughs> they are cute. Layla Marshall asks, when y'all are down in the South Island, did y'all come across any hidden gems like beaches or something? Oh. I think we came across quite a few hidden gems. Yeah. I reckon. My favorite one so far was probably from our last trip and also in our last video, the um, organ pipes oh, in Dunedin. Because yeah. that's actually really not well known, I think, because uh. you, you don't see very much of that covered on um, YouTube videos. Because when we were trying to look things up, we couldn't find very much on it. So organ pipes, that was awesome. There were some other places that we wanted to go that we didn't have time because the weather got really bad. But yeah. what was it? Tun Tunnel bed. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's a hidden gem, but... <laughs> yeah. A lot more awesome places that we want to see in the South Island for sure. Yeah, we plan on going back to the South Island hopefully in summer because um, in the Lake Tekapo area, uh, there's a Tekapo, and um, there's a real nice like lupin oh, yeah. bloom in that area. Those really pretty flowers, you know, that grow vertically, the pink and purple. You might have seen those amazing photos of the, the church that's on the hill and then it has those flowers. Really, really want to see that. Yeah, that'll be super cool. <laughs> Um, hi Peter, you're planning to meet your subscribers at some stage. I, we have met, 
a few. Yeah, quite a few like already. Yeah, really special ones that have just stuck with us from the early days and comments all the time, and we've become friends like outside of YouTube sort of thing. So we have met them. But as for like a subscriber meetup, I honestly don't think people will show up. <laughs> <laughs> It'll just be us. <laughs> It'll just be us, like hey. <laughs> <Get up. laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Cat and dog have a New Zealand. Oh, Marilyn said, Marilyn Wingrove said, my jab made me sleepy. So it must be a thing, right? Yeah, it must be. Yeah, Sachin. Hey, Sachin. Nice What's to up, see man? you on. Clever Cross. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> uh, Vignesh, sorry that I'm missing his name. That's okay. Don't worry about it. And Tashi Lim asked, and by the way, Lim, surname is me. <laughs> Same surname as me. Will you start traveling once Travel Bubble opens? Well, we would love to. I think when the Australian one opened up the first time and even with Rarotonga, we were just kind of cautious at first because we hadn't had our vaccines at that stage yet. And then the bubble closed. <laughs> so unfortunately that just shut off to us. But we are definitely open to travel with um, bubbles opening again. We just want to just want to know, I guess, what the situation is yeah. for what it means if we need to return suddenly because it's um it's really bad if we go out traveling yeah and we're like okay it's time to return back to new zealand and then oh no you can't return back to new zealand anymore because the borders are closed yeah that's right and then or if you have to come back and book miq and all that we've heard it's just a really stressful period and if you're going for holidays you obviously have to pay for your miq when you come back and that's three thousand something dollars yeah per person um so yeah it's pretty expensive yeah so we don't want to get caught expensive. in that for sure yeah <laughs> but yeah. i do i do really want to go to australia i keep talking to um my australian friends about this as well because i really want to see the um Uluru rock so. <laughs> uh rochelle hope you guys are staying safe and sound we are thank you hope you are too we got to meet rochelle in uh auckland airport yeah we were, we were just on our way over to south, south island, island and we yeah. met <laughs> that is so cool it's just it's it's really it still surprises us when we bump into um our supporters and viewers in real life because sometimes people might see us and then they're they're familiar with watching our videos but yeah. we might not know who they are and then so we have to prompt and be like do you watch our videos they'll be like yeah well, oh, hey. <laughs> yeah yeah because otherwise we're like hello what's up and then they'll be like what's up and then you're like mm. <laughs> but no it's super cool to bump into any of our subscribers in real life yeah it's the it's, best it's such a bizarre thing to be like oh man ah, so watch our videos <laughs> yeah <laughs> and it's, it's it still gets us you know like yeah. especially in new zealand that's the best because you know such a small, small. <laughs> yeah. world Where else do we see? Watching your video from home in Melbourne. Oh, two hungry donors. Hey guys, how are you doing? Pikachu, what a cute username. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think is the best yum cha in Auckland? Um, oh. Our family favorite yum cha is mm. probably, well actually, there's two. Yeah, there's two. Yeah. Um, there's the one in Green Lane called um, Grand Harbour. Grand, no, not no, Grand, Grand Harbour. Park. Grand Park. Grand Park. Yeah, and then the other one is a new market called um, Sunworld. Yeah, so those are our, probably our two favorite ones that our family goes to a lot. Yeah, but we haven't been in well, obviously lockdown. Yeah, <laughs> it's been uh, some we haven't time. been in a while. But um, otherwise, we also like going to Huami. Um, that's like a oh uh, yeah, one at Sky City. A more like modern take on yum cha. So they yeah. do like um, uh, what do you, how, how do you describe it? It's kind of like little fancier yeah it's a little bit fancier but it's a nice setting and the food tastes good um yeah they got like truffle hackles and yeah, stuff like that that's right yeah. <laughs> daryl congrats on the vaccination guys i'm still feeling really tired and achy today after my friday chat. <laughs> oh no had to open whitaker's berry and biscuit nice choice Darryl. solid <laughs> solid i like berry biscuit uh i also like the um fruit and nut version as well as the coconut and the milk chocolate those are my favorite four. Oh wow there's 97 people watching us right now jeez that's cool oh there's a hundred. Oh, there's a hundred <laughs> now wow. okay um lh said hello oh by the way hello to anyone new who's tuning in 
I'm so sorry. I'm just trying to read messages, but yes. I know I'm falling behind by far. I see someone asking about the chicken flavor chips. Yes, we've got some chicken flavor ones too. Um, LH said, when borders open for outbound travel for Kiwis, can you share with us your proposed itinerary for 2022? Yes, I can share with you <laughs> that itinerary. Uh, we've got a pretty cool one. Yen's been super into like ancient Egyptian history. Ah, uh, yeah. At I've the been, moment. I've been kind of obsessed. Really. <laughs> so if anyone follows our um, Instagram, you might have seen that I posted up a little drawing that Peter did for my birthday. It was really cute. It was of the pyramids and then he made himself a pharaoh. <laughs> made me like a, what, what do you call that? High priestess. Priestess. Yeah. <laughs> with like a gold necklace and a gold thing. It was very cute. But yeah, I've been kind of obsessed with ancient Egypt, so would love to visit Egypt one day. And I, I've even been learning hieroglyphics <laughs> and loved it. I was, I, I walked over I to the kitchen it. one day and I was like, what are you doing? And um, she was drawing in her notepad because, um, and I was like, what, what are these symbols? And she was, she was practicing remembering all these hieroglyphics. Yeah, so. let me show you. So I have a little notebook that I put like lots of stuff in when I'm learning things in. And I wanted to show people this because it's so nerdy. But can you see this? So yeah, there's Yen's hieroglyphics. There's my hieroglyphics. <laughs> and some notes about the ancient Egyptian language. <laughs> <laughs> and this might not all make sense to you, but they, they make sense to me with what I'm doing. So in this book, I have my that version of it. And then I have a notebook where I, um, every couple of days, practice active recall, which means that you try to remember what you've learned to make sure that it sinks in. So I have this book, which goes and I just write all the, it's not an alphabet, but it's kind of an alphabet of the hieroglyphics and just see how many of them I remember and in the order and that sort of thing. So by, what was it? 26th September, I got pretty good and only made one error. <laughs> and then after that, it's been like accurate the whole time. So pretty nice. proud of that in a very nerdy <laughs> way. <laughs> but yeah, we plan on going probably to Asia first, as that's the easiest place to go to, to stop off for us. Probably maybe Singapore, Japan, we'll just see what's open first. Mm. And then from there, we plan on going to uh, Turkey. Um, from Turkey, we plan on going to like some of the Mediterranean European countries. So um, probably Greece and Italy. Um, and then to Egypt, Jordan, um, and then probably back to Asia at that point. So it's going to be a lot of classic countries um countries with the classical history so we like that's the stuff that yen and i have liked for a very long time so it'll be really cool to see that yeah it would be oh oh my goodness i must be so far behind because kinder's just now saying that snack at changi is a new zealand brand and they also make beer <laughs> homemade chips and guacamole you share the adventure and the snack i got some sri lankan snacks i'm cutting up broccoli Shoot. Yeah, Yin, Yin's also got a stash of a few um Oh yeah, so we're going to give an update, made. yeah, of what we've been doing during lockdown. So, learning hieroglyphics for me, I've been making face masks <laughs> and that sort of thing. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen it, but I did bring them so I could show this off too. So I have made maybe... A like, uh, hundred. No, it's been like <laughs> maybe 20 at at this stage and I've just been giving them to our family and that sort of thing. This one's my favorite one. Yeah, that this one's is really a cool. Japanese inspired one. So I just got some other fabrics that have arrived and I'm waiting for a few more. But that's my newest ones. Yeah. I've got them pretty quick at them. Like they're not amazing and they're definitely not like, you know, great quality. <laughs> I like them. No, nah, they're like pretty it. good. Oh, thank Don't you. Don't cut yourself short. <laughs> I, I like to um, be able to just make it match outfits and that sort of thing. Yeah, so our whole family's got um, a yin, yin created <laughs> face mask awesome. now. And I even bought this so that I could have all the matching threads. <laughs> uh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> it's missing the black right now because that's in the sewing machine. Um, yeah, I should try catch up with comments. I'm so sorry if I was skipping because I think I've missed a ton of them already. 
Oh, there's Sunday saying, come see oh, me in Sunday. Japan. Hey, Sunday. <laughs> What's up? Guys, please check out Sunday Love's channel. She is just so amazing. She lives in Japan. We have met up once before, which was just the Had coolest. Some chicken wings. <laughs> that was the start of last year. Yeah. January, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. January, because we went over to Japan. Um, for Shinji's wedding. Yeah, for our friend Shinji and Yoko's wedding. And we got to meet Sunday, who's just the coolest. So definitely go check her out. Oh, Exploring with the Stewards. Hey, guys. What's up, guys? Oh, so cool to see everyone. Um, Marita, hi, guys, and happy birthday, Yen. Love watching your videos. Thank you. Nick and Hami says, Peter, please feed Yen some snacks. <laughs> Because I'm going to finish them all. I mean, look at me. I can see myself in the video right now. I've got all these snacks all over me. And you, you, you have not eaten one single snack. I think you got to make do on some yang Okay, well then you're going to have to catch up with all the comments. Okay. Yeah. Oh, what's this one? This one's a question. Lucas? Lucas, yeah. Love the content on the channel. Out of curious, curiosity, I would like to ask where your... What your alma mater is. What's the alma mater? <laughs> you wanna you wanna Google it? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna Google what an alma mater is. Isn't that first. like where you where you went to school or your university? I don't know. Oh man, it's so uneducated. <laughs> <laughs> if that is what it is, alma mater, then Auckland University. Am I correct? I don't even know how to spell it. Alma mater. Oh yeah, yeah, universities. Yeah school or college that you built formally attended yeah Auckland University yeah Tashila Malaka that's me too hometown <laughs> wait is this a cousin <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's one of my cousins but with a different username Tashi Lim, please comment if you're one of you. There's like, uh, I don't know, like 15 yens in yens family. <laughs> yeah, it's a generational name. So all the females in our family, all my cousins, my sister, we all are yen something. So yeah. And there's a lot of them. <laughs> and then our guys are Tao something. <laughs> and there's, there's a lot of us, yes. Um, Asya, learning ancient Egyptian. How cool is that? <laughs> Thank you. Oh my god, you guys are awesome. Sorry I jumped on when you guys coming to... When are we going to California? I don't uh, know. <laughs> so, someday soon. I've been watching a lot of like... Uh, I love American sports, so I watch a lot of um, NFL, NBA, and uh, MLB. So if we do go to America, I just want... I've got like such a long checklist of sports that I would love to watch in the actual stadium. So... Angry. That'd be super cool. Angry by nature's there. Stop angry by nature. The, <laughs> love the mask. Thank you guys. Everyone, angry by nature are just like the coolest couple as well with the cutest two two boys. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely got to go check them out and um, their TikTok especially. But yeah. Hey, yeah. look, there's my sister. <laughs> Where's my face mask? <laughs> don't, don't ruin the surprise. Uh, I'll, I'll eventually send one to you too. My sister's in Singapore. Um, mask could be a great merchandise. They could, Daryl, but I, I'm. Yen produces not. like one a day, so <laughs> how are we gonna? How are we gonna? Do... I need to set up like my own little factory or something. <laughs> and I've broken, I've broken two needles doing it and trying to like fight with my machine. But yeah, the... but then the Yen, you see what works. I feel like that machine might conk out at any minute. This is so cool, Glenn O'Grady. Hi from Ho Chi Minh City. Love the videos of your travels around New Zealand makes us homesick though we have love living and working in lots of different places. We love oh. Saigon, yeah. Ho Chi Minh City. Yeah, I, I tell everyone this all the time if we ever have like a conversation. That's one of my favorite countries of all time. Yeah. Vietnam is like whether it's north or south or somewhere in the middle, it's like all <laughs> awesome. Got some of the best food, got some of the best scenery. I, I want to go back to Vietnam. Like once we can go back out of lockdown, that would be great. Right. Thank you, Glenn. We hope we hope you enjoy seeing the New Zealand videos. Yeah, you can eventually come back when you're ready to. Yeah. Um, Lila oh, just Marshall. Oh my God, Sunday used to be on America's Next Top Model, right? Yes, that's right, <laughs> and she was the best one. <laughs> <laughs> Who did you say just came on? Jessica T. Oh, Jessica, hello. <laughs> 
Oh, there's my Toto boy as well. What's up, bro? <laughs> prompted me to travel around New Zealand a lot more. Woohoo, thanks, guys. Ah, thank you. Hey, my Toto boy. How are you guys doing? Do you still take your drone on trips? Getting harder to fly without breaching all the rules, huh? That is so true. Yeah, I stopped taking it around this for South Island because literally all of South Island is like a no, no drone, drone zone. zone so. Except randomly. Sorry, I'm talking with my mouth all now, <laughs> but... The organ pipes was randomly, you're allowed yeah. to have a drone. Yeah. And I was just like, no, because that would have been amazing, but nah, it's okay. It's, it's okay. Yeah, it was still an awesome place. Ray, Ray Wayski made it on. Hey, Ray. Oh, what's up, Ray? Is Connie with you? Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Yeah, it's, it's so cool. Like, I mean, I mean, you guys are so cool because it's really awesome that a lot of you guys have been watching our videos for I don't know long so time, long time yeah. now yeah and uh, just to see you guys will make it for the live it's uh, Thank just you. nice it's so, like, it's so yeah. awesome um Michael Broughton met you guys once in Milford Sound last year keep up the great cute content thank you Michael <laughs> we bumped into a couple of people there so that yeah was Milford really Sounds cool. like, yeah it just it blows our mind each time because We'll be in a random place and then someone might recognize us from our videos and it's just like oh wow i swear we're probably usually more excited <laughs> <laughs> i this is quite often where i want to take a photo with the people who come um and chat with us because mm. i just want to be like oh wow we got recognized <laughs> <Look at this." laughs> so it's nice when um they, they usually when we do take pictures with people they might post it to instagram and then tag us and we're like yay we get to see it <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh gosh it's doing all these jumpy things all the time um jonathan lim hi jonathan greetings from singapore congratulations i'm assuming you're that jonathan lim <laughs> that mentioned that you got to retire and it coincided on the same day as my birthday. So if it is you, Jonathan, congrats. And if it's congrats. Not, hello, Jonathan. What an achievement. Anyway. <laughs> Pete Trevino. What's up, bro? Oh, Pete Trevino. <laughs> How are you? He says you're pretty close, Ian. I don't know what that means. Close Maybe to the you're camera? close to the camera. Yeah. Maybe. It's because I'm leaning in. We've got a laptop here that we're just trying to read all the comments from. <laughs> yes, you're in New Zealand. It's all of you. Very informative and helpful, thank you. In favorite Malaysian dish, Peter, favorite Shanghainese dish. Mm. Easy. One time me from Malacca. <laughs> Not so easy for me. There's a lot of Shanghainese dishes that I absolutely oh. love, but maybe... two of the best cuisines there. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely. Good. It's a real good combo that we got going on here, you know, Shanghai and Malaysia. Because <laughs> uh, they have some of the best cuisines you're gonna find anywhere. But... Finally, that's also hungry by nature. Yeah, but Except reverse. The other way around. Yeah, so. <laughs> um, probably Shaolong Bao or the soup dumplings will probably be my favorite. Uh, yeah. yeah. Tong Yu Nah, nah. Uh, or maybe the river crabs, the hairy river crabs. <laughs> yeah, you can, uh, we've got a Shanghai Best Eats video somewhere if you ever want to look at Shanghai food where yeah. we, um, went back to Shanghai a couple of years ago yeah. and, um, ate with my grandma. And, yes, yeah. it's really cool that we got to do that because now we have a video with, uh, Wai Po, grandma and uh, Peter's auntie as well. So. Yeah, Daima. Daima, yeah. And it's just nice. Like for us, when we were making videos, we we wanted to be able to just look back on our memories because, you know, you've got photos and that's normal and you have your memory, yes, but our memories will deteriorate as we get older. And so mm. when we travel at, or even just whatever videos that we're making, that's captured and that's, that's there forever now for us to get to look back. And we do, we actually yeah, go we, back and watch sometimes. Yeah, especially during lockdown, we, we, we do enjoy even going through some of our old videos yeah, and just watching it. We might cringe at it because we're like, why did we film it like that? Or why oh, did we not I do that spend all the longer time. on like, <laughs> this place and, and all these kind of things. But regardless of that, it's just cool to be able to yeah. watch. Yeah watch back the memories and that sort of thing yeah so that's why a lot of the places um that we go to it's like yeah, we we actually really want to go to that place we're not just doing it just to make a video like we we just want to go there yeah <laughs> um ray said yes thanks we're in the car <laughs> drive safely guys <laughs> i've been watching hey guys been watching reviews on living in auckland oh yeah auckland Expensive place to live, but I mean, we grew up here, we love it here. 
Marie, I've been here with you guys for three to four years and I know, and you are amazing, Marie. <laughs> if you guys um, like artwork and that sort of thing, go check out Marie on Instagram especially and her YouTube channel. But she, uh, she just does the coolest illustrations and that sort of thing. I love it. It's just amazing to see. When, when do you, I also follow you guys on Red. Red. Yeah. <laughs> We've been, a little, we've been a little quiet on Red. Uh, you might have noticed. So Red, for those of you guys who don't know, is a um, Chinese app and the name is called Xiao Hongshu. Uh, and we tried that for a little while, but unfortunately it just didn't work out for us. It created yeah. a huge amount of work because to be there, we had to translate our videos. And since we're both not super literate in Chinese, that was a huge task in itself to find a translator, get all the work checked. Um, put that onto our videos and then also what was the other thing that we had to do oh they wouldn't allow us to have um what do you call our other social medias yeah on it so we'd have to do extra editing to cover all that kind of stuff and it just became a bit much unfortunately so we gave it a go just to see how it was and i actually really like the app because i get to see videos from chinese content creators that we wouldn't get yeah, to see otherwise different. Yeah, and often it's short form videos, so they were trying out some long form ones, which is why we ended up uh, going on there. But it just, yeah. <laughs> it's okay. It's Give okay. it a go. Yeah. That's right. With things, you just got to try certain things, right? Um, oh, my bro Nirvana's on. What's up, man? <laughs> is it Nirvana or Navin? We need to know this because I've been saying Navin in my head. I've been saying <laughs> Nirvana. Have you been saying Nirvana? <laughs> I know. Like when I read your comments and things, I always think Navin, Nirvan. Please yeah, let us know. Yeah, let, let us know in the comments. How is um Christchurch going? Going guys, never and Tony, if you're there. Lo, if me and Tony ever bump into your fellows, we will fan out. <laughs> That's too nice. I think honestly we'll get more excited because we'll be like, yay, we finally <laughs> get to see you. <laughs> uh, yes, I am the Jonathan who just retired. Congratulations, Jonathan. Sunday, what you saying? Sorry if you mentioned this. We just ended the state of emergency yesterday. I heard maybe you guys uh, off lockdown do you think a travel bubble between japan new zealand australia will open up soon if so when i don't know it's a funny one now because yeah. um new zealand and australia are both kind of caught in this thing where we tried to lock down to get rid of all the cases because it worked for the previous lockdown but now because of delta and the way it spreads so quickly, it's really hard to get back to zero cases. Mm. And you'll see like, even in Australia, there's um, the numbers are really increasing rather than decreasing. And New Zealand, even though we managed to get down to single digit cases, it's starting to fluctuate again and it's starting yeah. to go to 30s and 40s. Just read the news as well that it's no longer only in Auckland anymore, which is a huge shame because we managed to contain it to just Auckland for yeah. a while, but now it's spread a bit, so. Tomorrow is when the level change gets decided, but yeah. I so think. I think what might happen eventually is as our vaccination rates get higher mm. and higher, because I think Australia was on eighty percent. I don't don't quote yeah. me on that. <laughs> um, but New Zealand's getting pretty high as well. As we start getting to reach those higher numbers, we may start eventually having to learn to live with um, uh, the virus and eventually opening up anyway. So I th I think that's what's going to happen, mm. but we'll see. Let's see. I really hope one opens up with Japan though, because that would be amazing to go back there. Yeah, it would be cool to visit Japan again. Yeah. Um, our family and friends that live in Singapore though, they tell us that they've gone through like a similar cycle as us and a lot of Singapore especially is already um, uh, vaccinated and they've got really high vaccination numbers, but still the cases are really high. And so even though they want to open up, um, it's, it's difficult to. And mm -hmm. so they're talking about booster shots already. Yeah, which we haven't even yeah we, we haven't even started talking Zealand. about that. So if we if that's like a future state of what could end up Australia and New Zealand, then who knows, you know? Yeah, and um, Lucas, oh, was it Ian's birthday? Happy birthday! Thank you. It was yesterday. <laughs> oh no, not yesterday. Two days ago. Two days ago, first <laughs> October. <laughs> Peter Trevino, loved your Vietnam vlog, guys. Thank you. Oh my goodness, they were so cool to yeah. Cool to. I still look back on our some of our Vietnam videos from time mm. to time because I just I just miss that place so much. <laughs> Lagoon Frequency. Hi. Hi. Hi, guys. Awesome to see you guys live. Love watching your videos. Thank you. Hey, Tom. Tom's on. Tom Bromfield. What's up, Tom? Hi, first. Good work with keeping the vibe up during the super extended lockdown. Thanks, Tom. Hope you're doing well. Um, Ray, I guess we kind of covered that. When do you think you see want to open up to travel again? 
Oh, goodness. I need to go back. Jump back up. Something happened and everything. Uh, all, the, all the comments just jumped. Uh, constantly does this because you guys are amazing and chatting heaps and then I think it just lags and then it jumps again. <laughs> it happened last time when we did the live too. I wish there was a better way to manage that. Yeah, Xiaolongbao, love one ton me too. Miss Malaysian street food so much. Oh my goodness, yes. Yeah. That's the best. We we're really looking forward to going to Malaysia for the um oh. <laughs> for the street food especially. Exploring with the stewards. Tony said we even bought a bamboo steamer because they loved watching our videos of ones. <laughs> That's so cool. We don't even have a bamboo steamer. Yeah, we got a we got a regular steamer. Yeah. <laughs> May May Wong, hello! Hope NZE border will be open soon. Miss the South Island, like Wanaka, Mount Cook, yes, Kaikoura, and so many more lovely places. The South Island of New Zealand is just stunning. Like, yeah. North Island is also beautiful, and yeah. you really feel like you're in a different place when, yeah. you, when you go between the two. Yeah, it's crazy how, like, um, even though it's all New Zealand, the two islands are so drastically, drastically different. Drastically different, yes. Yeah. And then we also went to Stewart Island, if you guys had seen that vlog, and that, that was such a bucket item list, but even that was, again, quite different, I, yeah. I reckon. Because when you're there, I don't know if we showed it enough in the videos, but a lot of the landscape is just so untouched. You know, the beaches are just pristine, and the trees, what do you call They're them? all like windswept. Yeah, like just windswept. fully windswept and just bent in that way. It's just so bizarre, but it's very cool. We heard that um the Kiwis there. Oh yeah. Because um of the way There's no predators well no there are predators. No, I can't uh, no, 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 don't worry about <laughs> that. But because of the amount of sun that the island gets, um uh the Kiwis there actually come out during the daytime, which was real cool. I don't know if it's because of the sun though. Is I it? thought it was something more with like because it's such an uninhibited island that they're they're used to roaming around and they don't have to like be oh. nocturnal. Yeah, I think that was it because it's a very small population that lived there and so if you're lucky you get to see a kiwi in the daytime yeah. um oh our adventurous days hello how are you Sup? doing hi guys tune in to support you um yeah i thought you were going to your picnic so <laughs> thank you <laughs> that's so cool um oh we are uh, just finished watching squid games if anyone's been watching squid games uh, which has yeah. been real cool we're supposed to tell you what we're doing <laughs> sorry so yes, we've also been watching shows, and Squid Game was the most recent one, I think. Yeah. And it's a Korean show that's on Netflix, and we won't give anything away because it's one of those awesome things that you just have to watch. And yeah, we already it. gave some away for Puri and Sue, so sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Peter did. Peter did a spoiler, and he had to retract the message. <laughs> Has anyone else watched that? That's been cool. We also watched, um, what's it called? For All Mankind. Yeah. That was recommended to us by Rob. Yeah, that was really cool. It's yeah, that like was a... real cool. It's like a, uh, an alternate reality of what Earth would have been like if we had continued on with the... Moon race. Yeah, the moon race. Yeah, so I thought that was awesome. So we're waiting for the next season of that now. Yeah, that was real cool. I've also been watching anime. Yeah, watch a lot of anime. Um, <laughs> One of our favourite ones is called Kingdom. That's my favourite anime of all time, I Kingdom. I love it too. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's about like Chinese history, but it's done in the Japanese anime. Yeah. <laughs> And it's got a lot of just really cool fighting and all that kind of stuff. Uh, okay. uh, Edmund Carr asked, where do you go for Malaysian food in Auckland? Mm, we got a couple. So, what was the one in Ramiro Do you remember? Ipo. Yeah. Ipo, yeah. Uh, we go to Ipo. Ipo Malaysian cuisine. We go to this one in West Auckland. I don't remember the names. I just remember the locations of them. And I just KL go there. Cafe. Yeah, KL yeah. Cafe. <laughs> and we just tried this new one called uh, Treasure, Treasure Kitchen, Kitchen recently. That's in Olahuhu. And then um, there's also one called Nonya that we go to. Oh, yeah. That's in Old Howick. So that's a lot closer. We haven't eaten there in a while. Yeah, that's like a long time family place. Cause, yeah. Um, we went there for like Yen's 21st mm -hmm. birthday. <laughs> Which is a long time ago, guys. Mm. <laughs> but where else? Malaysian food. There's, there's um, quite a few places. We go to that one that's at that train station sometimes. Uh, what's that called? Kampong Cafe. Oh yeah, Kampong Cafe. You're pretty good with names. I've been doing memory recalls and practicing memory and all that kind of stuff. So I feel like that has helped. I read um, 
Limitless by Jim Quick, and he's a, how do you call it, a brain coach. <laughs> so he teaches memory techniques as well as how to learn and study and that sort of thing. So I find so many of his techniques really great. And uh, yeah, highly recommend that book, Limitless. But yeah, the other things that we do in lockdown is Peter reads a lot too, and he's just finished Elon Musk, which he's asked me to read now. Yeah, that was a great book. Mm. Uh, that guy's story is actually pretty crazy because um, uh, like he he has this company called SpaceX. Well, he has Tesla, right? And everyone knows about Tesla, which is a crazy um, electric vehicle company, which almost went bankrupt so many times. But he's also at the same time got this company called SpaceX, which has just launched um, a, a recently a flight over to outer space. Yeah, that's right. With uh, yeah. four civilians yeah, as the crew. Yeah. And um, their goal is to eventually get human life on Mars, which would be pretty amazing. It's like a, definitely a sci-fi movie. Ah, uh, Thomas and Sheena are here chasing a plate. Great snack lineup there, guys. <laughs> Thank you. And up, thanks guys? for tuning in. Chasing a plate, Thomas and Sheena are just the two most awesome Kiwis. And they do food videos in New Zealand overseas. Well, actually, they came back to New Zealand, which was cool. Get to have you guys back here again. But definitely, definitely check them out if you don't already know of them, because they are such um, amazing people, great videos. And they just did one on Satay Noodle House, which was really cool. We like eating there too. Yeah. Um, Tashi, are you eating milk yen yen? I am having the vanilla one. <laughs> Sailing you, the husband and wife. Yes. Peter and I are married. We're married for nine, many years. Is it nine years? Like <laughs> we've been married since 2012. But Yen and I, the reason why I don't know is because Yen and I normally go by how long um, we've been together. Yeah, yeah. so that's uh, 16, years. 16 years, but coming on 17 years, which is seems like quite a Next long year. time. Yeah, yeah it is ages. <laughs> um, I want to go back to Japan. Oh, oh, where do we go? I really feel like I've been eating all these snacks too. <laughs> it's fine, you keep going for it. I'm enjoying reading everyone's messages. Okay, I'm gonna have... Uh, Thomas and Sheena said, Squid Game is crazy, we've got one episode to go. That's tonight's entertainment sorted. Ah, enjoy it. Oh, I really want to talk about it, but I won't, I won't. <laughs> I'll hold back. Brian Holmes loves Squid Games too. Um, John, Damien, Damien. We really love your show. Keep up the excellent work, John and Taryn. Thank you, guys. Red light, green light. Yeah. <laughs> Midnight Mass on Netflix is good. Yeah, what, what shows are you guys watching? Let us know what else is good. What's Midnight Mass about? I don't know. Um, like Justin reads, Christian, the blue cod looks so good. I had four fish and chips since. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This, this must mean I've missed messages because this is like talking about other ones can't wait to watch squid game i watch hometown cha 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 on netflix that's what um nick and helmy was telling us to watch hometown cha 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 yeah is that like a it was like a is that a korean romance i'm not sure i don't know i'm looking at you you don't really clearly doesn't know <laughs> <laughs> yeah yen's yen's the sole watcher of um like rom-coms korean and, dramas and, and rom-coms yeah, korean... yeah oh daryl's also watching squid game just over halfway, I can recommend. We are Lady Parts, a comedy set in the UK with an all. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, can't see. <laughs> um, I saw a comment that was asking the best New Zealand potato chips. I don't know. I reckon these are pretty good, eh? These um, Heartland chips. Because they're good value for money, because we got them on special for like $2 a bag. And uh, they taste really good quality. and. The flavor is good, so I'm, I'm gonna go with these for now. I um, I generally start changing my preferences <laughs> every couple of uh, months. Just a uh, high fellow Auckland lockdowners. <laughs> I mean, any intention to travel by camper fan? I'm thinking of revisiting and doing it in New Zealand. Maybe, maybe. I actually used to work for a camper van company and um. Like the thing with traveling is don't mind like being in a, like a accommodation where there's like a proper bathroom and stuff. But when you're, um, we just kind of miss our like,
comforts like having a, a decently sized bathroom and having some space to have like our computer and stuff like that but if you're in a camper van um, you get the freedom aspect of it of being able to go anywhere but you um kind of miss the space and things like that so mm. i don't know maybe if we go for like a short yeah if we go for a short trip yeah. then yeah definitely sometimes we go for quite long ones and that, that makes it a little more challenging but yeah oh this is so cute this is the boy ray man i saw you both in botany one evening and i wanted to say hi but was too shy and didn't want to bother you all night oh <laughs> that's so that's so nice and thoughtful of you thank you but honestly we really don't mind so if you do see us out and about and you want to come say hi please do yeah definitely yeah and don't be shy and we're happy to take pictures and that kind of thing <laughs> thank you guys what anime are you watching right now? What else were we watching aside from Kingdom? Uh, just oh, Tokyo, Tokyo Revengers. Tokyo Revengers was the other one. Yeah. Um, I don't know, Draken, if you're on because we can't see all the messages, but Peter recognized him as a commenter and saw one of the yeah. characters <laughs> as his avatar. <laughs> so yeah, Tokyo Revengers, which started off really good and then... And then trailed off in the... Hey, you're giving spoilers. Towards... Oh, no, no, I guess it's okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But then it, it finished strong. Yeah, it finished strong. So for that first season, so that was good. And yeah, I remember Dragon was asking me about any Tokyo inspired drip. Unfortunately, we don't. But I, that Japanese one does that count? <laughs> the Japanese mask. The Japanese face mask. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what are you guys watching? Anyone who watches anime? Lapo, you guys look so young, low, and you got married ages ago. <laughs> Thank you. We're not that. <laughs> <laughs> We're 30, well, I'm 36, and Peter will I'm be 30. 35 right now. Yeah, so. He loves to always say that he's a year younger than me, which he's not. He's a month. One month. <laughs> You're 36, and I'm 35, which means right now there's a year's difference between oh my goodness. our birthdays. There's logic. There's <laughs> no sense whatsoever. <laughs> but yeah, I, I do like to hassle you in about that. <laughs> Um, oh, can ask, how do you keep finding such awesome Airbnbs? They all look amazing. Gotta give Peter kudos for that. Yeah, I, I, I pride myself on finding cool Airbnbs. Like, you know, a really good price, but also like a really good place and in a nice location as well. So those are the probably the main things. Mm. I found some real cool Airbnbs overseas as well, which I can't wait to go and visit one day um, when, when things open up. But they're all on like wish lists and things like that right now. Uh, Edmund Cole asked, have you tried driving down to the South Island? We haven't done that, that yeah. strip between Wellington to Nelson yet. We would like to. It looks yeah. really cool. We definitely like to. Usually when we go, we will fly from Auckland to yeah. either Queenstown or Christchurch and then do a rental from yeah. there. Like the reason why we haven't done it right now is because that um, inter-island ferry is remained about the same price. But if you're flying down to South Island right now, it's so oh, much cheaper, cheaper. Yeah. right now. <laughs> so it's like a total, um, it's so much value going to the South Island from the North Island right now. Marie's also saying we got to try that snack of Changi chips. That's good. Okay. <laughs> okay. like the chips you guys are Doing eating. It. Got it, got it. Uh, oh yeah, oh, Castlevania. That was a good anime. And the boy races is watching Kuroko's Basket. I, we've watched that too. Yeah. This is so ridiculous. Like, if anyone's seen that anime, <laughs> they're just like superpowers almost with, with basketball. basketball. <laughs> That's really entertaining. I like it. <laughs> Snacks look great, guys. Do we play video games by any chance? We. Well, I used to. I grew up in a video game arcade, so I spent most of my childhood um, playing video games, but not so much anymore. Oh, goodness. Did this do a jump again? I'm not sure. Yeah. Think so. Okay. You. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I just need to find wherever we go from. Love you too, Sunday, and thank you. <laughs> oh, let me. Peter Pina asked, please wear your mask. <laughs> okay, chuck, chuck, chuck a mask. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> so 
but they do fit. <laughs> <laughs> and I also put a nose bridge at the top part. Navant's asking when we're coming down south again. Um, or Navin. Navan or Navin is asking. We haven't seen the message that lets us know how we pronounce a name yet. Yeah. So. Uh, as soon, I guess as soon as um, lockdown finishes, because um, uh, we do really want to go see those lupins. Uh, I think what happened was it jumped down and like it's gone all the way back up because they see some messages that we have seen already. Oh, really? Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry, guys. It's like we've missed your messages and that sort of thing because it is a lot. Which we really appreciate. <laughs> Nick asks, have you seen the platform? It's so cool. I reckon Peter would like it. We have not seen that. What's that about? Uh, McCoy the Real wrote in Chinese and this I can read. Ni hao or ai ni men, which means hello. We love you guys. Thank you. Xie xie. Thank you. <laughs> Ted Lasso must watch. Also just started Foundation on Apple TV. Great sci-fi. Cool. Do you like sci-fis? Squid Game is great, but I like Alice in Borderland more. I've heard of oh, I've heard of that one. Yeah, we need to see that. Mm. I wonder if it's like a similar concept. Nonko, how was the Catlins? It was super cool. I think we we also, that's another place that we really want to go back to because yeah. there's a lot more that we could see there. Yeah, I I feel like that's a hidden gem as well of um South Island because um when I was doing the planning, there were so many places that I was like, oh, I want to see that and I want to see that as well, but we just don't have enough time. So we yeah, definitely want to go back there sometime. Yeah, it's also really tricky when we're doing travel blogs because we have to account for bad weather too, yeah. and which happens. And if it's not horrendous, we still make an effort to go out with our um, camera and put a little raincoat on it. <laughs> You'll actually see that in the next video because we ended up doing one about our vlogging equipment and our travel essentials. So yeah. Kia ora, Fano. How are you guys doing? Hello, Joseph. Thank good, thank you. Ah, you know what I always wanted to say? We should have started this one with Kia ora koutou katoa. <laughs> <laughs> Just a Maori greeting for everyone. Um... Coming up to West Auckland to the suburb Titirangi. We have street fairs. Oh, cool. West Auckland is great. Love your channel, especially the travel vlogs. Thank you, Shushmita. No, I feel like I've had too many chips now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I'll just let it go back down to here. Oh, what's this question? This hard out life question. Where? Um, JS, JS, JS asks, what has your what has been your biggest regret in life? Wow, getting deep. That's a deep <laughs> one. <laughs> well, I'm gonna let you go first. Okay, I reckon, I reckon, the biggest regret in life would have been if we had not decided to have left work and gone on all our travels and things like that. So, therefore, I'm gonna say, no regret. No regrets. <laughs> no regrets. <laughs> Yeah, because even though, um, obviously with the pandemic, we had to return to New Zealand, cut all our travels short and that sort of thing, it was it was the right decision to make for us and things worked out well because fortunately we've been able to travel around New Zealand for, for the most part of the last, how long have we been in lockdown? Almost two years. Yeah, for this pandemic, almost two years. So, yeah, and I think, I think it's not, it's a, how do you say not like there's no point to regret something because all of that has led to life experiences and makes you who you are yeah yeah and yeah as long yeah, as yeah. you're learning <laughs> yeah, i hope that's <laughs> i hope that makes sense you know um, it's oh gosh Have you guys seen Star Wars Visions? What's that? No, I haven't seen that. No, but we did, Sounds pretty cool though. We watched Mandalorian. That was yeah, we watched Mandalorian Mandalorian. and we watched a lot of the Star Wars movies, but then they kept making new ones and I got a little bit um I don't know. Like I, I just lost the lost track of all, <laughs> all what was all going on. So many of them, 
Yeah. yeah, but we have like kept up with all the Marvel movies, so we watched all of them. Um, Victor Peter asks, hey guys, have you done vlog on the narrow coastline on west coast of South Island? We have made a lot of vlogs yeah. from the west coast of the South Island, so we've and been to Fox the, and Friends. And also the one that goes towards the top. Yeah, yeah, so we've we've made videos from Fox and Friends Glacier, and we've also made videos from um, the Pancake Rocks and uh, the Deniston Mines as well, so... They're, they're, they're on there somewhere. Um, what was your favorite lockdown takeaway you've had from Alcos? Hello, Alcos. Uh, probably be the pizza because that was, that was my massivest craving. I always have giant cravings for pizza and um, sometimes we'll end up in like really uh, countries that don't really specialize in making pizza and we'll still have to find a pizza joint. So like <laughs> um, in, uh, in Vietnam, like normally you'd be eating like pho or like, you know, um, uh, uh, broken rice or something like that. But I had a massive craving for pizza when, when we were there and we ended up finding this place called Four Piece Pizza, which is oh, yeah. actually amazing. So yeah, that was, that was a good find. But we had <laughs> Sal's just the other night after after dinner, we had a we ordered a whole mess of sour, so that was <laughs> that was fantastic. Tom said, "I wondered your videos are super positive. What happens if you had a bad experience in a restaurant slash hotel? Would you not include it in the video?" Yeah, um, if if we have a bad experience and um, we don't have anything you know positive to say about it, then uh, we will just leave it out of the video rather than saying something negative about it because you know maybe they were just having an off day and uh they just weren't able to um get everything 100 percent on that exact moment so yeah. no need to say anything negative about them yeah and uh, also normally if we don't really like if it might not if we might not like it so much it could just be our taste you know so usually we'll just say what it is yeah. like how it tastes and that sort of thing because someone else might like that <laughs> and especially given you know the whole pandemic situation these are people's businesses and their livelihoods it's not really for us to dog them out and that kind of thing it's not, yeah, not yeah, cool yeah. so yeah if it's horrendous we just won't include it in the video and if it's not to our liking we just you know you, you might see you might not be as ecstatic about it or something yeah but you know normally it, the food especially is yeah it's usually say, extremely good yeah usually and that's that's because we normally go to places that we either get recommendations for so other people have said it's really good or we're doing reviews about it yeah. uh, we've checked reviews about it and people have given it really positive reviews so generally almost yeah, yeah almost, almost all, always all places <laughs> yeah really good. but some are just that level better let's say <laughs> yeah and i don't think we've ever had a place accommodation wise that yeah yeah Definitely not in New Zealand. Not, New Zealand? Oh, not in New Zealand, but Air we have Indies. had some uh, experiences in China, China. Yeah. that weren't, weren't the best accommodation <laughs> choices. I yeah. wish we were doing vlogging then because we weren't really exactly vlogging. We were making like slightly different kind of videos, Yeah, but um, that would have been yeah. I, I, I Actually, I would have included those like not so good accommodation experiences in the vlog just so you guys could see like what some of the some of the um, places that we stayed at were like because yeah. in, in china especially for some reason some of the accommodation the photos in the airbnb look great yeah and, and then, then you, you go there, there and it's not great no unlike new zealand though where when you see the photos that's that's the place that you're gonna get and usually when you get there in person it's even better yeah 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 so, like New Zealand Airbnbs are fantastic and the hosts are always really accommodating, super yeah, real nice. nice. Yeah. So many of them actually leave um, like treats for you <laughs> and sometimes they're homemade and home baked and that sort of thing. So it's just incredible. And if you ever do meet them in person, because if it's not a self check in, yeah, they're usually just like the nicest people. So it's super cool. Mm. Um, oh, let me go back. What's your favorite snacks? treat lolly that you can get in new zealand i would say whitaker's chocolate yeah. by a by a by a mile it is so good oh neo kinza hello just up? stopping by to say i love your channel videos thank you hey it's our friend uh, race car friends <laughs> race car friends <laughs> how's it going king keston 
Did you guys ever find a roti shop or Trinidarian? Uh, Trinid Trinidarian. Trinidarian. <laughs> Restaurant. Restaurant. Uh, there are a few roti shops, but yeah. there. I, I have Not yet to find a Trinidarian me. restaurant. If, I've been trying. If anyone watching this is from New Zealand and knows of one, please let us know because we would love to try it out. Yes. Um, oh, goodness. Daryl, loving your integrity and kindness of spirit and not making negative reviews. Thanks, Daryl. <laughs> <laughs> um, how did you, how did we meet each other? Through a mutual friend. Yeah, if you were a mutual friend many years ago in, um, in uni. Uni. Yeah. We we actually did a QA that covers like a love story because people were asking us about that last time. So that's on our video that's a 20k QA. I think that was the title, in case anyone wants to look that up. Um, yeah, that's right, Nick and Helmy. It is someone else's business and you just, I guess, yeah, when you have a platform like YouTube or TikTok or Instagram and all that kind of thing and it reaches quite an audience, not that we consider ourselves the creators or anything near that, it's, um, yeah, it's still not nice <laughs> to, to be doing that. Yeah, to put down someone else's business. Yeah. <laughs> so I think, yeah, state things as it is and that's it. Uh, David, love your channel. Have you heard from Dia lately? No. Oh, Dia Jin? Dia Jin. We haven't heard from Dia. What's her channel name? No, yeah. for quite a while. I yeah. don't think I've even seen her on Instagram for quite a while, which is unfortunate. Dia is, uh, she was from a place that's near Shanghai, right? I forget. I think so, I yeah. I think it was near Shanghai, not yeah. Shanghai itself, but we, um, we, we met did up. A, yeah, we met up when she was in New Zealand and... Peter and her did a Shanghainese video together. Yeah, Shanghai Beats yeah, Shanghai video. Eats. <laughs> that was quite a few years ago now. It was, it was. Mm. So unfortunately, no. Um, <clears throat> Insect Cantonese, the videos that you guys are really extremely, exceedingly supreme. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, so a lot of Fantastic adjectives there. Thanks. Uh, Joseph Anton, I really like videos. Uh, they are very informative because you've done your research before you guys travel. It gives added value to watching it. Thank you. Yes, we do. I think that's another amazing thing about um, doing YouTube is that we do force ourselves to learn a lot more about the places that we visit before we go there. Yeah. And we learn interesting facts as well, and then we get to share that with you guys. Yeah, actually, before we did YouTube, I'd never go to a place and like learn about the history of a specific building or stuff like that. Yeah. And now that we do make these videos, um, we find that it's more interesting um, for you guys and uh, also for the video oh, as true, well, for yeah. us too, to um, actually do that background research about um, a specific building or a specific lake that we're going to. Mm -hmm. um, it makes the whole whole like process quite enjoyable. Actually, I actually really enjoyed um, just finding out that little bit of extra history. Yeah, that's right. Like the one that's um, jumping out um, Petrified Forest? No, nah, oh. the one that's jumping out to me right now is when we were in uh, Hanoi and we went to Hua King Lake um, oh, yes. and we learned about the um, story of the the sword of the lake, um, which was, it, it's just super cool, you know? Yeah, it is. It is really cool. Yeah. Rod Ortiz, hello! What's up, man? You? <laughs> and your whole family in Hen Henderson. That's so cool. Rod and his family were, I think, the first viewers that we bumped into when we came back yeah i think so and one of the trips or something and... saw each other in like novo or something no hannah's hannah's or novo <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna take a picture together such a lovely family thank you guys for tuning in um joseph said he's visited some of our recommended places and restaurants we visited in upper north island during my field work that's cool i hope that's you enjoyed awesome. them yeah uh, Reska friend says you'll bring Trini food with me when it comes to us. <laughs> to get Please do. We'll probably see you in <laughs> summer, right? Definitely not winter. <laughs> Kinder asks, have you ever traveled to Europe or the UK? No, but we really want to. Yeah, and that's the plan for the next time we're able to travel. We're yeah. going to be going, heading over to Europe. Yeah. And originally, well before this pandemic thing, we were supposed to do our full massive Asia trip. And then we were supposed to go Europe. I think it was this year, right? Yeah, this year we're the originally going to go this year. And that was the plan, but... Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Actually, um, our book club, we're currently reading this book called SPQR. Peter has a book club. Yeah, yeah <laughs> a book club. 
um, which I think it stands for um, Senatus Personus K Romulus or Romanus. Rom- I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> something <laughs> something like that. <laughs> but it's a, it's a book about um, ancient Roman history, the starting of it all the way to um, some of the later um, emperors. I think it ends around Constantine, some 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 point around that when um, they converted from like Jupiter and those kind of gods to Christianity. So yeah, it's going to be an interesting read. I'm only up to um, like the early stages of the book right now. Nick and Helmy is asking if you can travel to Australia now, where would you go? Let us know your Australia bucket list. Go to Uluru. Uluru is a big rock. <laughs> I want to see that big rock. If there's no pandemic, which countries were in your travel plan? So many. I think we covered it earlier in the thing, but you can... Yeah, we covered it a little bit earlier, but we're, we're planning, hopefully, on going to Asia as a stop-off, but then heading over to Turkey, spending a lot of time in Turkey, then heading over to Europe, and the countries that we want to go to in Europe are mainly mm-hmm. Greece and Italy for the classical... Uh, history and then over to Egypt because Yen has been obsessed with Egyptian ancient Egyptian um, history yeah <laughs> um, and then I was looking at a map and I was like oh we're gonna be in Egypt I mean that's so close to Jordan so we might as well go there and um, uh, so we're, we're gonna add that onto the list hopefully you know that would be the most amazing trip eh? yeah and then head on back to Asia probably like spend a long couple of months and somewhere really nice and warm where we could you know edit videos and just take it easy for a while yeah yeah bye lapo he says he has to go now go uh, have a great day thank you oh gosh Jeez. Uh, come to sydney manukas <laughs> who's that Tashi. Tashi <laughs> hey guys from new zealand but been living in tokyo for 26 years wow love your channel and watch every new video you guys drop keep up the great work thank you so much and if you are in japan don't forget check out sunday's sunday and lynn's uh, channels they've got amazing content from japan hi from melbourne australia hello bridget what's up bridget ah someone's taught you what spqr stands for senators populusq Romulus. <laughs> thank you Thank you for the uh, actual translation of what it was. Um, when you're in Europe, make sure you spend some time in Northern England. Yeah, yeah we're, we we should probably go to England at some point as well. But I don't, um, I think for Kiwis, we're only allowed in Europe for like, um, I think it's three months before that specific visa that you get um, runs out. Um, and so then you have to go back to your own country and then come back out again unless you're you know uh, working or something like that but we're not so um and i don't want us to rush europe i don't want to go to like um just one country for a week and then another country and another country i want to when we travel we do like to um spend longer in a specific place so yeah that's hopefully the plan this time around and then we'll come back in the future and uh england is definitely in there as well um, if you get to Bodrum in South Turkey, nip across to Kos, Greece. It's close and amazing. Thank you for the tip, Justin. That sounds good. Kia ora, che. <laughs> Will you travel with a group to Egypt, Middle East? Bucket list for us, but we're always worried about political problems, etc. Yeah. Uh, like my parents are like, um, you got to be careful about um, the political problems in Egypt as well. Mm. So we'll, we'll definitely need to do our research and just find the safest way to get around. Mm. Um, but yeah, sometimes I, I watched a couple of videos on um, YouTube about like the whole situation there. And um, I don't know, you, sometimes you get mixed messages because the people that made the YouTube video were kind of like, we're just walking around in the cities and um, during the daytime and it's, it's all safe. Everything's all good. Uh, but then you, of course, hear other stories from other um, travelers. So, mm. yeah. Do your research. Uh, Blue for Sky. Sucks to be in Auckland. Love your channel. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, uh, yeah. I, I don't think we're going to go out of level three tomorrow, but we'll find out in the update. Uh, Nick and Harry, how many books do you read in a month, Peter? Um, I sometimes read, I at least will read one book a month. But sometimes I'll read like two or three books a month and they'll be my good months. <laughs> so, yeah. And Peter's gotten really fast at reading, which is good. Yeah, but I realize I enjoy reading 
if I find a good book, I'll read it slow and read every single word because, um, uh, you know, it's really good. And, and yeah. But if I find a book that's not, um, not as uh, you know, engaging. I'm not finding it as a, yeah, engage, that's a good word, engaging. <laughs> then I'll I'll speed read it. Do we intend to go to the Americas? Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. Um, we really want to go to Canada. We really want to go to America. And we really want to go to South America. So, yes, America's yeah. definitely... <laughs> Most of the world is kind of on the list. It's yeah. Just... yeah, honestly, <laughs> yeah, that, like, yeah, that's actually true. Because it is most of the world that we do want to go and see. Um, and so we'll slowly make our way through. Mm. So... But not being able to travel for the last two years has been um it's not quite two years yet might yeah, feel yeah. like it but yeah, yeah. it's not quite there yet as it hasn't been the coolest but you know the bright side has been we've been able to see a lot more of new zealand which has been awesome so yeah and back together with our family see our friends all yeah, of that too that's been cool always got to focus on those positives uh tui valu hello kia ora love your vlogs thank you so, um Oh, is that real? Hamilton's going back into alert level three. Yeah, yeah. Damn. Oh, because Waikato. Yeah. Oh, no. Shana, damn. How about Singapore? We're open, Samuel Lee. We'd love to go back to Singapore. My sister and brother in law are there. We've got other family in Singapore, too. Yeah. Food's amazing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we'll always go to Singapore just to see just um, to our see brother family. and sister. So, um, oh, and all the other family, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever done a kontiki? No. No, we haven't done a kontiki before. Maybe we'll do one in the future. I don't know. But I like to me, like the mental perception I have of kontikis is singles going there to meet um, someone and do a lot of drinking. And since Yen and I don't drink, and plus we're married, I don't know if it's the right kind of traveling method for us. But yeah, correct me if I'm wrong in that um, perception of it. Daniel Kwan asks, what did you major in at uni? Marketing and management, so Bachelor of Commerce for both of us, and yours was? International Business and Marketing. Yes, <laughs> that's right. On the topic of books, what's your favorite Harry Potter book? Oh, I love Harry Potter. We even have like a collection of the Harry Potter edition <laughs> yeah, yeah. Harry Potter books. But the favorite one, ooh, ooh, that's tricky. I'd like to say the first one, just because that's when you get plunged into the world of Harry Potter. And I know a lot of people love like, the third one, that's the Prisoner of Azkaban, but um, I'd say the last two maybe for me, just because it, it just wrapped everything up and yeah. so much happened in it and it was just super well thought out and so yeah. But I did. I loved all of them. I even went and re-listened to all the audiobooks of it too. Back then, um, when, when Harry Potter first came out, I wasn't like super into reading back then. Yeah. And Yen actually read the entire last book to me. I had to narrate the books to Peter. I don't think it was even just the last book. I think it was the last most two of books. Them. Yeah, no. no, last two books. Was it only the yeah. last one? Okay. Because <laughs> the movies were out for the other ones. Oh, right. <laughs> uh, oh, Oh, someone asked, can can someone please explain Peter singing at our wedding? Yes, oh, I can that? explain that. <laughs> oh, Kelly. Hello, Kelly. Hey, Kelly. You, you must watch the uh, videos quite um, quite intently to notice that little yeah. tiny snippet that was in there. But Which yeah, was that in? Uh, it was in one of our Q&As. Ah. <laughs> but yeah, I um, like, I'm the worst singer and dancer. <laughs> And so to surprise Yen for our wedding, um, me and my best men, we actually decided to uh, do a performance um, to Miguel's sure thing. And so um, like one of my one of my best men, his brother is actually a choreographer. So he choreographed us to be able to do the full dance. Yeah. And I was learning the words to that song. And then, yeah, I was yeah. on wedding night. The and surprise the came out. Back up, well, not back up, well, they were accompanying singers is that how you say yeah accompany singers yeah and even the guy's brother brendan who was one of peter's best man best men um he was overseas at the time so he had to learn the dance remotely oh yeah that was crazy yeah and then when he finally came to new zealand 
then they would practice a little bit. I think he only had yeah, only had like a week to practice or yeah, something, something like that. Short, so it was incredible, and it was just the most amazing and heartwarming thing to see. I was so happy. They, I didn't know any of. It. I knew they were preparing. So, a surprise. Yeah, and oh, we forgot to explain. There's a there's a background joke to it too, which is that these four guys, these four best friends, made a boy band. Boy band. <laughs> Our boy band's name is Best, best Boys. boys. But it's fictional. It's a fictional boy band that they created. And so with our wedding, there was actually a whole fake, like a mockumentary <laughs> about the boy band and why they uh, broke up, but then they came back together for this Yeah, we um, broke up reunion because I fell in love and had to leave the boy band. But we got together again for this one final performance on the wedding night, and that was... Um, that was the song. Yeah, and so sure thing because that's one of my favorite songs in Peter as well. <laughs> yeah, it was it was amazing. It was very cool. I would love to share that with you guys, but out of respect to our friends and best men and all that, <laughs> we've been like we're we're allowed to just show that tiny little snippet. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, we'll catch back. Oh gosh, how long have we been going for? I hope we're not. I don't know. Hope we're not like boring everyone. <laughs> ah, Thorfinn, what's up, Thorfinn? Hey, Thorfinn. <laughs> For tuning in it's an hour and a half already <laughs> oh goodness that's long um, favorite pizza that's an easy one uh margarita pizza all the way i do not eat any other pizzas oh i do eat other pizzas, eat other pizzas. but uh <laughs> those are my favorite margarita and he likes the ones that has um is it burrata i love burrata so if you mm. chuck a burrata on yeah. my margarita pizza i'll be very happy but oh, if you put it in like a little bowl with olive oil on it burrata yeah. just like that is real nice too and i usually like any that has mushroom on it yeah oh and uh what do you call that the skinny meat prosciutto yeah. <laughs> prosciutto pizzas you like um uh, salami as well oh yeah and salami <laughs> that's really yum uh lupo i'm just one question, how do you think you were successful in YouTube? I don't think we were successful in YouTube. I don't know if I'd consider ourselves successful, but thank you for, yeah. <laughs> for thinking so. I, I honestly just enjoy doing YouTube because uh, it's, uh, it's, it's cool. Because, yeah, I mean, we, we love capturing these memories. Um, and we've got a, a really nice community here. A lot of the people that a lot of you guys we we know so well because um you guys leave us comments yeah. you talk to us um through any of the um other uh channels that we're on as well and we've gotten to know a lot of you very well which is real it's i don't amazing. know it's nice it's, it's really nice yeah it's pretty special eh? <laughs> yeah. that's cool i i don't think that answers <laughs> yeah so that, i know i don't know if we're looking at it from that perspective then um, success. It's, it's success to us yeah definitely <laughs> The fact that we just get to share our experiences and it helps anyone else or even um, helps them plan their trips or they find it entertaining because they're, they're just homesick as well, that sort of thing. All that, I consider that successes to us. And so in that way, I guess just whatever we're making and putting out there, we're just happy that you guys enjoy it. Yeah. Um, well, where did we get up to? <clears throat> Thorfinn said he knows a good Kiwi cafe out in Perth, not far from here. Thank you. We'll take you up on that. Neo <laughs> <laughs> uh, what kind of music do you two like to listen to while traveling? Driving Peter loves his hip hop and R and B. I, I literally only listen to um, hip hop and R and B um, from like a really young age. That's all I listen to. Yeah, and I like it too. But Peter's just like next level with that sort yeah. of thing. Oh, I do listen to pop, but only my. Jackson, so. <laughs> that's about it. I listen to almost anything except I don't know heavy metal, not so much country either, yeah. and that sort of thing. <laughs> no hate on any of the other music genres, though. <laughs> like, yeah, it takes yeah. talent to be able to make any of that. Oh, this is this is a seriously an important question. It is share the adventure. What Hogwarts houses are you? <laughs> We've done the test yeah, on Pottermore. Test. I had to do it twice because I was in disbelief the first time. I had to do it twice to prove that I was in Gryffindor. <laughs> yeah, so Definitely. Gryffindor and Ravenclaw. I don't know why I'm in Ravenclaw still, but you know. Okay. What are you guys? Anyone who's done it? Um, yeah. 
Jan Kim, love your channel guys. Me and my missus recently visited Rotorua and tried out Saigon 60s. That's a great, that's a great restaurant. It, it was is. so good. We went there twice. We went there twice. We, we did go there twice. It was so good the first time that we had it um, without Ooh, filming that yeah. we went back and just to film the there. It was so good. And we don't even normally eat at the same, you know, place twice in a row, yeah. days wise, but yeah, it was really good. We had to go there. And since we've been back to Rotorua, we went there again, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Marie asked what book am I reading right at now? the moment I'm reading SPQR uh, yeah. someone someone has already left the what it stands for but <laughs> it's, it's a book about Rome and I have started to read uh, the Elon Musk book that Peter passed me before that was Jim Quick Limitless which I really really like and super recommend uh, Daniel Kwan what other hobbies and activities oh goodness someone gave a donation oh Kinder thank you thank you, you. <laughs> Just wanted to say thanks, enjoyed your videos, which have inspired a few side trips, both in Auckland and the rest of New Zealand. We'll keep watching for inspiration. Keep it up. Hey, thank you thank so much. Thank you so much. We really appreciate that. That's super kind of you. Thank you. Um, like we were saying before, uh, these kind of contributions are just incredibly generous and we really appreciate it because it does cost a lot to make videos and that sort of thing. All of it is paid out of our own pockets, so it always just does go right back into it. It will. Thank you. Um, what did we get up to? What other hobbies and activities do you guys enjoy outside of YouTube? So, uh, you mentioned reading. Reading, watching things. Watching anime, movies. Yeah. Uh, I've been sewing face masks. <laughs> this is new. Thing. Exercising. <laughs> Exercising. If we're not in lockdown, we like to play pool. Yeah. Like when our friends are here and about, we used to do that so often, which is really cool. I, yeah. enjoy I that. spend a lot of my time like uh, reading about investing, yes. if anyone's into that kind of stuff. But yeah. yeah. Peter spends ages just researching market. Uh, he also loves to watch baseball, and so he got me into baseball too. Yeah. So I like watching baseball anime, and then now I can watch like the real thing because of. Um, uh, Shohei Otani. Yeah, if anyone watches baseball at the moment, this season has been amazing because yes. of uh, one player in particular, Shohei Otani of the Los Angeles Angels. One of those once in a century kind of players. I've learned all this. The one previous was Babe Ruth, yeah. <laughs> who is both a dual player. Yeah, he's a pitcher as well as an amazing hitter. So mm. it's, it's pretty rare that you're ever going to see this kind of generational talent. I've been enjoying following his uh, season. Yeah, so now I know how to watch <laughs> and read like the stats and stuff too, which is, uh, definitely makes it a lot more enjoyable, especially since the games are really long. So if Shohei is up to bat, Peter will like, call me over <laughs> and I'll we'll go watch it. Yeah, I actually have a lot of um hobbies, you I do. think. Yeah, you so I, I like a lot, a lot of things. Peter loves collecting things too. Yeah, so I collect um, cards at the moment. In the past, I like fashion and yeah. collected clothing and stuff. Oh, guys, you know how he's always in t-shirt and shorts and that's just like his uniform almost but peter used to be super into fashion yeah so yeah it changed when i realized i wasn't into fashion <laughs> maybe that phase just didn't yeah i think it phased you. out yeah i i just love being comfortable and shorts and t-shirt is and jandals is like yeah. perfect comfort <laughs> um <laughs> low peter and boy band yeah Thank you, thank you. We'll open up for visitors again. We have no idea. We're sorry, Ron. Yeah. It's just so uncertain about New Zealand borders. Um, I think the aim is to get New Zealand's vaccination numbers really high by the end of the year. So in the 80s to if 90s, if that's even possible. And then maybe then borders may reopen sometime next year. Early, hopefully. We don't know. Mm. <laughs> we just have to listen and um, to the news and find out what's happening. <clears throat> Victor Peter said, you're quite right about Kentucky Peter. I did a similar youth-driven tour years before called Top Decks. Suits well for youth, not so for couples, yeah. Mm. Now we're definitely not youths. <laughs> <laughs> Hello from Chicago. Hello. What's up? Explore as we go. How are you guys? Legend Smurf, hello. Hi to anyone who is new that's coming in. I like this question. Favorite hip-hop artist? Jay. Yeah, yeah. It's changed over the years. So, like, if you had asked me this a couple of years back, I would have told you probably uh, Jay-Z, Kanye, Drake, mm. Lil Wayne. But um, these days, it's probably still Drake. 
I like I my 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 thing changes as whoever is putting up the best music right now. So I I think personally, the people who are putting up the best music right now is Drake, Kanye. Um, ooh, and then a lot of people haven't been putting up that much music, but probably Travis Scott and yeah, I'll just leave it at those three. Those are my my favorite three right now. But I <laughs> there's one album that I go back to a lot. Um, that's Frank Ocean's albums, like uh, whether it's Channel Orange or um, whether it's the other way, other one Blonde. Um, those are like oh, yeah, those are my like two staples because I love nights. Like um, like sometimes Yen will just hear me singing totally out of tune, and I'll probably be singing nights. <laughs> yeah, I'll be like downstairs and editing our videos or something, and then I'll just hear Peter just randomly <laughs> singing because he's got earbuds on yeah, and yeah, then yeah. you'll just be like singing along i'll be like what are you doing <laughs> oh, yeah. you like the vision as well the vision oh yeah i like the vision you yeah go back to that yeah uh share the adventures gryffindors for life yes <laughs> yeah still i'm still a bit gryffindor pumped game. that i'm not yeah. in gryffindor <laughs> um love from new plymouth smiley legends thank you hello Uh, we just moved here from Einheim. I miss going to the games. Oh man, you got yeah. to see baseball games. You that must why. have been amazing. I, be I, so cool. I mean, we wish we could go to see a baseball yeah. game. So that's one of the big reasons we want to go to America. There's actually. no baseball here yeah. <laughs> in New Zealand. Well, there is baseball, but oh, so there's yeah, no like no. MLB. Yeah. <laughs> But we had them in Tokyo Dome, and I would love to see a baseball game in Japan one day too. I yeah, like we ticked off one of our um, massive bucket list items in Tokyo Go to a, concert. Uh, a few years ago yeah. when we got to see um, Big, Big Bang, Bang live <laughs> in concert with yes. a yeah, K pop band. That was epic. That was so epic. It was for like their New Year's or Christmas uh, performance. Yes, yeah, I think it was Christmas. Yeah, that was one of the like am most amazing nights. <laughs> Peter looks good no matter what he wears. <laughs> hey, thanks for that. <laughs> Peter's nice body is his best outfit. <laughs> what? My nice body is my best outfit. Hey, I also, thanks for that comment too. <laughs> These guys don't make his head like bigger. <laughs> you know, I gotta say. Oh. You know? <laughs> His arm's still looking all right, even after all these chocolate bars, eh? <laughs> you know, when we were younger and before we were dating, Peter um, had, what do you call it? Like a, dumbbells. Dumbbells, yeah. And when we were hanging out at his house, he would just like pick up the dumbbells. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this would be my thing to like impress people when we were like little kids, right? So I'd have these, um, I had these like 20 kg dumbbells and I was like, hey, Yen, check this out. <laughs> Check out my bicep curls. This was before we were together, and I just thought he was such a dork. So I was she like, didn't even pay any attention. <laughs> He'd be trying to like show it off to the other friends, are trying to get my attention. <laughs> yeah, the friends were like, "Whoa, that's so cool, uh, Peter." Were they? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness. Favorite place on Waiheke Island. My brother moved there just before the pandemic. Oh, we haven't been. There. We haven't been in a while, but like Waiheke Island is one of my favorite places. I I gotta say the standout one is Poderi Krishi for me. Oh yeah. Yeah, because when we went there at like um twilight hours one that one time that we went there, it was mm. like really memorable. It was such a beautiful setting. The food was amazing. Yeah, you feel like you're no longer in New Zealand. New Zealand. It yeah. does feel like you're in Italy, sort of thing. Not that we know what Italy feels like just yet, but we will eventually. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we've made quite a few videos from Waikiki, so you can check those out. Um, Universal Hope, love your vids, really miss New Zealand. Could you make longer videos, please, from Singapore? <laughs> we get asked this quite a bit sometimes. Yeah. And... We don't actually set how long our videos are going to be. Yeah. So it's, if we go out for a day or two days, then um, whatever we capture during that moment, uh, we'll just put into mm -hmm. the vlog and we'll make the vlog as good as we can so we'll cut out any like nonsense stuff and that kind of stuff to try and drag out the video so whatever the length of the video is that, that is just it what just, it is yeah, yeah it just captures the day as as we experienced it and felt it i think yeah, yeah. so we don't purposely try and make them long or purposely try and make them short or anything it just kind of ends up as it as yeah it as it is <laughs> um What's this one? Could you film some videos about Aboriginal cultures in New Zealand? Maori? <laughs> I 
we, we've done yeah we've made a couple of yeah. uh, videos about multi culture in new zealand especially um yeah. so like our bay of islands one mm. will have uh the place where um the treaty of waitangi was yeah. uh, signed we also did a really recent uh what do you call it the maori new year Matariki, oh, yeah. Matariki. Matariki, yeah, and that was in our Auckland staycation vlog. So we got to see Hangi and the um, uh, performances with the poise kind of thing. Oh, goodness. Just hey, me. Rob's here. Who's here? Rob. Rob Hono. Yeah. Is that right? <laughs> Toki you two Heartland chips are the absolute best in New Zealand, followed by proper, proper chips. Chi proper, Pro crisps. proper crisps. Yeah. So when other donuts gonna get mentioned? <laughs> but yeah, for my birthday, my friend Krish, as part of the pack that she gave me, had donuts. They have disappeared. <laughs> yeah, I, we were thinking about saving them for um, this because I know you did mention we were meant to, you know, have some donuts, but we we already ate them, so they they're gone. <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh, Kelly Earl was asking, how do you keep your white shirt so white and pristine when traveling? <laughs> I'm I'm a I'm an excellent laundry person. He I gotta just say. likes to pride himself on this. <laughs> so they do get stains on them. I'm just so good at getting, getting the stains out. back out. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm pretty good at like uh, making uh, a soak concoction that can get the white shirts back to crispy white. Like even though these shirts, some of these shirts I've had for like I don't know, like five years, ten years, something like that. Um, as long as they don't have like heaps of holes in them, I can get the color back to white. <laughs> I just yeah. saw Max's comment, which is quite funny. He says, uh, can you give us a whole oh, year? That's because that's what you did in the sales video on Instagram. <laughs> on our Instagram. I don't know what came over me. That was just the feeling that I had once I saw that pizza. It was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Turned into a cowboy. I don't know. It just, it's natural. It came out. It was an instant. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Love Posey, back with a new profile picture. <laughs> Welcome back. I can't quite see them because... I don't know if you can even click into them. Yeah, it doesn't really, unfortunately, say, but thanks. <laughs> nice to see you with a new picture. Uh, NZ All Blacks, you're wearing your All Black shorts, are you? Oh, I'm yeah. wearing my Canterbury. <laughs> yes, I am covered in chips and chips chocolate. And I'm wearing my Canterbury shorts today. <laughs> there you go. How do you have so many? <laughs> it's I'm my blanket. In, I'm still in one of these cookie cream ones. Peter needs to share his tips on keeping white shirts on. <laughs> Sorry for the random comments, not at all. But guys, I think we've been going for a really long time and yeah. we don't want to make it too much longer. We know everyone's got dinners to get ready for and that sort of thing if you're in New Zealand. So I think we might wrap things up here. It's amazing that so many of you tuned in and so we super appreciate it. Yeah, thank you so much everyone yeah. for joining us. And for the um, super chat donation things that's just unbelievably generous so thank you again all the wonderful messages um and all the support as well we just want to say a massive massive thank you and for joining the live stream making it fun for us too <laughs> yeah 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 I, i'm sorry in advance because uh, we're not going to be able to do travel videos for the next couple of weeks because of lockdowns and so uh, we hope you still watch our other videos <laughs> Let's we'll see what we come up with. If you guys have ideas or suggestions, let us know because uh, we need help. <laughs> <laughs> and we appreciate it. Gosh, has it been an hour for us to stay till the end? Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Anyone who's stayed for this entire time. Or even just a couple of minutes. Came for a few minutes <laughs> Much appreciated. Just to say hello. And anyone who was on horrendous time zones as well. Oh. You guys are amazing. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Um, so, yeah, please do like all our videos. We will say to like, <laughs> give us those thumbs up on it. So let us know if you enjoy these live streams. Maybe we'll do them again. I don't know. Yeah. Um, subscribe if you haven't already, of course. Really does help our channel. I know it's such a cliche thing that you hear, but it does help when you watch and share and um, comment on our videos and that sort of thing. So thank you, guys. Um, Raph, shout out to you, <laughs> Nicholson. <laughs> Same ones, and the messages are pouring. So yeah, have a good week, everyone. Cowing, <laughs> hey Wang and Jazz, if you guys are still there watching, thank you. Love all you guys. Cheers, guys. Take care. My childhood friend, Cowing. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you to anyone that we might not have made 
um, mention of your names because we couldn't keep up with messages. But we appreciate all of you, and we will catch you next, next time. time. <laughs> See you all. Bye. Get this chip blanket off of me. <laughs>